Levi died, he gave the place he had written on to his younger brother Jacob. Jacob was righteous. Nephi told Jacob to write the things that would help the people believe in Jesus Christ. Nephi gave Jacob the power to be a priest in the church and to teach the Nephites the Word of God. After Nephi died, many of the Nephites became wicked. Jacob taught the people and told them to repent of the bad things they were doing. A wicked man named Sherem went among the Nephites, teaching them not to believe in Jesus Christ. Sherem told the people that there would be no Christ. Many people believed Sherem. Jacob taught the people to believe in Christ. Sherem wanted to argue with Jacob and persuade him that there would be no Christ. Jacob's faith in Jesus Christ could not be shaken. He had seen angels and had heard the Lord's voice. He knew Jesus would come. The Holy Ghost was with Jacob as he bore his testimony of Jesus Christ to Sherem. Sherem asked to see a sign. He wanted Jacob to prove there is a God. He wanted to see a miracle. Jacob would not ask God for a sign. He said Sherem already knew that what Jacob had taught was true. Jacob said if God struck Sherem, that would be a sign of God's power. Sherem immediately fell down. He could not get up for many days. Sherem was weak and knew he was going to die. He called the people together. He told them he had lied. He said they should believe in Jesus Christ. After Sherem finished talking to the people, he died. The people felt God's power and they fell to the ground. The people began to repent and read the scriptures. They lived in peace and love. Jacob was happy and knew that God had